Friday, February 13th, saw the Canadian National Women's Sevens team take to the field for their San Diego Sevens competition. Canada would take on the USA Seconds, China, and the New Zealand Maori before their San Diego campaign ended after a tough semi-final loss to England. The Canadians got off to a great start against the home side USA Seconds as Ashley Patzer would score two tries and Rosie Cobbett would also touch down for five points. The Americans were able to slip by for one try early on before the Canadians found their rhythm and took the match 17-5. to Rugby Canada chairman Rick Boren was in attendance and spoke on the team's strong first effort before speaking about the importance of the tournament for the women's side. Well, they've come down to prepare for the, uh, the World Cup in Dubai, and uh, to get them down here in this competition is uh, really important for the development of the team and, and uh, have them work together and, and get them all set for that, that World Cup. And uh, we just watched the first game here, and uh, what a great group of gals, great athletes, and uh, won the first game. and. Uh, we're off in the corner now uh, having a chat and talking about how they can do better and uh, we're pretty focused. I think it's just a great preparation for the World Cup. The Canadians continue their strong ball movement and ability to break tackles against China just one hour after the American match. Cheryl Phillips was unstoppable as she ran in three tries to help dispose of the Chinese by a score of 26 to 5. Phillips spoke of the team's performance after the match and commented on the success of what her team has been focusing on. I was thinking that everything that we've been practicing all week was coming together. We were working together as a team and uh, one thing we really wanted to work on was the offload and following in support and funneling and that's where most of our tries came from. So it's basically the work of my other teammates and I was just there following behind and that's how I got my tries. We just need to continue talking, working as a team where we got exposed was in the centers with the back switch. We just need to keep the communication up and flatline defense and hopefully it will be a better, better result next time. Less than an hour later, Canada lined up against a dominant New Zealand Maori side. Catching the Canadians off guard, the Maori came out blazing to score two quick tries. Canada's Kelly Russell would respond with five points as she broke through the New Zealand line. Despite another Canadian try just seconds later, the comeback was not to be, as the Maori scored two more tries and ran away with the score line, making the match 22-12. to Canadian coach Natasha Wesh was disappointed with the loss, but said her team was focused and was aware of their mistakes. We realize we have some things to work on, um, but uh, you know we're pleased we're progressing. Our last half against New Zealand was uh, really strong, and that's what we've got to play. That's the way we've got to play the game, and we know we can play. It's just a matter of getting our heads wrapped around that we are where we need to be. It's just a matter of just putting it out on the field. Unfortunately for the Canadians, the semifinals would see them caught on the back foot from the opening whistle. A ruthless England side refused to let up for the entire match as they ran in 29 unanswered points. Canada was repeatedly penalized for breakdown infractions and was una unable to make the crucial tackles against the speedy English back line. Canada was unable to build their momentum and failed to penetrate the English defense as the English ran away with the scoreline. Captain Maria Gallo put her team's performance into perspective after the match. Uh, we were excited with our start. Uh, we definitely uh, came out hard. The only thing is it's a bit disappointing because we need to be playing with the top four teams in the world and it seems like we're coming short. So uh, we'll definitely go back to the drawing board and just change some things. Personnel-wise, we're looking good. We just need to fix some small things that are very fixable and we'll be coming back in a week or so a little bit different. Well, this is definitely one of the last stepping stones and we need this. We need to kind of finalize some things. We're trying some things that are new for us, uh, types of defenses and types of offenses as well. So we kind of need this practice time in order to be kind of in shape come, uh, what, 10 days or so when we take off. In San Diego, California, Andrew Smith reporting.